Hey everyone, Jason Case here with another video. And today I wanted to share with you three ways to significantly increase your e-commerce conversions. So before I get into the details of each of these strategies, I wanted to first give you a quick overview. So number one, A-B split testing. This is essential to improving your conversions on your website, and you should be constantly running different experiments. Even after you find something that's working, don't stop there. Keep on running different experiments to help improve your conversions even further. So you should be testing these, uh, running these experiments on the most important pages on your, your site, your product pages, your checkout pages, landing pages that you're sending paid traffic to from your paid advertising campaigns, and so forth. Number two, advanced retargeting campaigns. So I'm sure everybody has heard of retargeting and it knows what retargeting is. Um, if you're not, this is where you search something on the internet. Let's say you search for a pair of shoes and you view that pair of shoes, but you don't make a purchase. Well, now that pair of shoes follows you all around the internet. Now that pair of shoes is showing up on blogs you're reading or maybe on your Facebook newsfeed. So this is retargeting and it will definitely help increase your conversions. But you can take this a step further with some advanced retargeting campaigns. And I'll go over the details of that in just a bit. Number three, marketing automation. So marketing automation is essential to stay in touch with your prospects and current customers. It will help you automate many other tasks as well. And I'll go through those details just in a bit too. So number one, A-B split testing. So I would split test high traffic product pages. And the reason I say testing on high traffic product pages because you wanna test on the high traffic pages of your site. Otherwise, it's going to take way too long to get enough data be, to make your decision. So testing on these high traffic pages will help you get enough data on your experiment much quicker. And then you can implement these changes and increase your conversions much faster. So test different messaging, different titles, different images with these products. You know, um, A-B split testing different copy on your advertising campaigns is essential to improving your click-through rate. Well, same thing with these product pages. Just making small tweaks to the way your messaging and your titles or your images are will help it, uh, increase your conversions as well. Try using product videos that highlight special features of the product. So this could uh, help increase your conversions. Give a 360 view of the product. I feel like this is really important. Most people want to see how the product looks in the entire view. Make your call to action stand out and contrast well with the page. So run different experiments with this. Change the button colors, change the button sizes, change how your call to action is worded. Run different experiments on this and see if this works. Now it's important to only experiment one thing at a time or you won't understand what's really working. Make your search bar more prominent. So if you think about Amazon, Think how big their search bar is on their, their website and how it stands out really well. Well, this is because people or Amazon wants people to search and find their product really quickly. So if your search bar is kind of nested away and it doesn't really stand out, try to run an experiment by making this bigger. Split test your checkout process. This is a very important part. If you don't make it easy, then you're going to lose people here. And I would start by making the first step only require limited info, like first name, last name, and email, and then moving them to step two. This way, if they abandon the checkout process um, at step two or further, then you can follow up with these people on incomplete orders. Use visual process indicators to show their checkout progress. So if there's four steps in the checkout process, progress, then Make these four steps visual and show their progress through them. Number two, advanced retargeting campaigns. So again, setting up advanced strategies is 
super important and will definitely give your conversions even an extra boost instead of just running a generic retargeting campaign that retargets everybody that visits your website. So to do this, start segmenting your audience based on their interest and purchase behaviors. So create retargeting based on their on these different segments. So if they visited a product page but they didn't purchase, then you can start retargeting campaigns to retarget them for this product and try to get them to come back and purchase this product. If they purchase a product, then retarget them with ads of other related products to that, that product that they purchased. If they purchase a product that is bought multiple times, for example, if they, they purchase a pair of shoes, well, maybe those shoes only last six months or 12 months. Well, you should start retargeting campaigns at this point to try to get them to purchase again. All of this can be you know, automated with uh, marketing automation as well. And I'll go over that uh, a little bit further in, next, um, in the next slide. You should uh, answer any objections that the buyer might have. So again, if they visit a product page, but they didn't purchase, then you should try to think of what these objections that this buyer might have, what made them not buy the product, and retarget them to help them try to answer these objections. Or retarget them with uh, reviews of the product of customers that have purchased the product and how they, they like the, the product. This will help build authority and make their de buying decision better. Uh, again, automate your retargeting. So using marketing and automation software can automate this entire process. And this is super important. Otherwise, you won't have enough time to put these strategies in place. Which leads us into number three, marketing and automation. So create follow-up campaigns. Follow-up, follow-up, follow-up. This is super essential to closing more sales. If you don't have any automated follow-up nurture campaigns in place, then you're shooting yourself in the foot with every other marketing strategy that you're doing. I guarantee you're wasting money and leaving money on the table. You need to follow up with people. Uh, most people don't actually follow up with a uh, prospect more than three times. And it usually takes eight times or more, um, eight touches or more to get someone to convert. So always have a call to action in every email. These emails should be educational and help build trust. They're not meant to be sales emails. So, yes, you can have a direct offer, you know, maybe 20% of the time or 10% of the time, but most of the emails should be educational. This helps build trust with your company. But even though they're educational, that doesn't mean that you can't have a call to action in there. Just make sure you have a call to action in every single email. Create short-term and long-term lead nurture campaigns. So short-term nurture campaigns are meant to be more frequent you know every few days because this is when somebody's showing interest and you want to try to catch them when they're most interested and try to get them to convert and, and purchase from you if they don't purchase then you can send them into a long-term nurture campaign that touches base with them maybe every couple weeks or every month and make sure you segment out your email list based on their interests so just like retargeting campaigns you should be segmenting your audience well, you want to do the same thing with your email campaigns. This way you can email them based on what products they're interested in. Automate your post-purchase task. So this is super important too. This can help you save a ton of time. So most of these tasks are super routine. So every time a product is purchased, there's certain things that you have to do. Well, you can put automation campaigns in place to automate the fulfillment of the order. Create feedback and referral campaigns. <clears throat> this is super important too. So a lot of businesses will say and tell you that a lot of their business comes from referrals. But if you ask them what type of referral campaigns they're using, they say, we don't have referral campaigns. We just get referrals. Well, putting some automated referral campaigns in place will definitely increase the amount of referrals you get because this goes out with every single order and you get feedback and, and reviews of your products and your service. This will help increase your conversions too because a lot of people want to see reviews before they make their buying decision. And then retargeting automation. 
<clears throat> so with retargeting automation, you can automatically add and remove people from different retargeting audiences. So if you're retargeting a person because they didn't purchase a product, well, we automatically add them there and are re start running these retargeting campaigns. But let's say they purchased this product two weeks down the road. Well, now guess what? We automatically remove them from that and move them into a um, retargeting campaign that's going to start retargeting ads towards them of other related products to try to get them to purchase more from you. So, and you can automatically start and stop these campaigns. So that's it, everyone. If you need help with any of these digital marketing strategies, feel free to reach out. I would be happy to help. This is what we help businesses do. That way you can stay focused on running your business and what you do best. And we can do what we do best. And that's help grow your business. Take care and we'll talk tomorrow.